What's up guys, Jay here with Solo YGO. Welcome to the channel if you're new, we appreciate you. Uh, before we get started with today's GOAT format, extra deck, deck profile, um, go ahead and check out those channel memberships and Patreon. They really help the channel giveaways and us just doing what we do. So we appreciate that. And speaking of giveaways, next month we'll be giving out a full box of Duelist Nexus. So stay tuned for that if um, you're interested in giveaways, free cards. All right, so here we go. Uh, the reason why we're doing this today is because Mike pointed out there's not really a good video on YouTube just talking about the extra deck and go format. So this can be used for this list and then whatever you guys tell me in the comments, feedback, we'll, we'll run this back again in a few months and we'll improve upon it. But the, this list is something you can use in any deck that plays Metamorphosis and that has different levels. Um, if you're playing Snatch still, you probably just play all of this because you can steal any level, right? So it doesn't even matter that you're just playing the, um, the ones that you have levels of. You know, Snatch Deal, Mind Control, stuff like that. Uh, brain Control if you're playing that. Just a bunch of cards. So, yeah, we'll get straight into it. Let me show you guys the cards first, and then we'll talk about them. Uh, if you guys know what the cards do, you know, you don't have to stick around after that, but I do think there's a lot of insight into these cards, so we'll try and give you some knowledge there. Uh, 3,000 Eyes Restrict. 3 Dragonus. Um, just playing a lot of multiples of cards because there's no limit in GOAT format, if you didn't know that. You can have is way over 15 if you want. I uh, pretty much just play all the levels, max on ratios, if you can. It's not really super necessary uh, if you're trying to stay budget, but uh, you know, for me, might as well. Uh, two flame ghosts. Just excited to play a third one if I had a third one. Two dark or three dark fire dragon. We got one dark bolter. I think I have another one. I need to put it in here. Uh, we got two fiend skull dragon. One Giltia, the D Knight. We got one Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. We got two Rio Senshi. One Dark Flare Knight. One Roaring Ocean Snake. Two Ojama King. One Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. One King Dragoon. Two Gatling Dragon. And one Master of Oz. So we have three level ones. We have five level threes. Three level fours. We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four. Four level fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven level sixes. Two level sevens. Two level eights and a level nine. Um, for me, this is for my chaos deck. The only levels I don't play that are here would be level seven and level nine. Every other level I play, so I can use them all. Um, there's certain scenarios when certain cards are better than others, so we can run through that. Uh, but let's start with Thousand Eyes Restrict. He's probably the best one in the format as far as um, just generic X deck monster goes. There's so many level ones. Uh, Scapegoat's a level one. So there's just so many ways to facilitate it. Uh, you got Magician of Faith, Magical Merchant, uh, Sinister Serpent, just a lot of things. Um, he's a walking floodgate. No other monster on the field can attack or change his battle position. And then, not once per turn, because that didn't hardly exist back then. <laughs> uh, except for the Chaos Monsters, right? But um, he can just absorb monsters that your opponents control. So you can abuse him and reuse him with Tsukiyomi, flipping him face down, because you know they lose the equip when they're face down. Uh, Book of Moon, stuff like that. All right, and then on to this next one. This one's kind of important to explain. Uh, we got Dragonus, the Wicked Knight, and Flame Ghost. Those are level threes. Uh, Dragonus is 1200 attack and Flame Ghost is 1000. The only reason why Flame Ghost might come up as being better in certain scenarios is the fact that he's a dark, whereas Dragonus is a wind. So if you're not playing a Chaos deck and you're just using him to, you know, you just have this slot to basically get rid of Songin or something like that if you need to, just play the one that has a higher attack. If you literally have no implications of playing Chaos, don't spend the extra money, don't waste the extra sleeves. Um, for me, both can come up. Chaos implications and then you know, 200 points of damage, you never know when. It's actually come up for me gameplay, so that's why I got it there. I don't know if three will come up, but like I said, we're just playing because we got it. Dark Fire Dragon. Uh, it's the only level four that I play. If there's any more out there that you think are good, like a level four light or something, please let me know because I don't I don't know what they are. And then we'll add those to the deck. Uh, but that's good for Great Keeper Spy for me. And then we have level fives. We got Dark Balter. He's really good. Um, he's, he's a negate... He's just, he's just really good. Uh, Fiend Skull Dragon's good. Uh, Giltia, the D-Knight, just the light. That's why we play him, level five. 
And those are level fives. That's for Thunder Dragon, for us specifically. Um, you can tribute over and then Metamorphosis, or call the Haunted Metamorphosis. I'm gonna speak for me a lot because I know a lot of you probably are also playing Chaos. But if you're not playing Chaos, just uh, you know, just acknowledge the names. I would just play the names that are the best ones. So I wouldn't play Guilty of the D Knight because he's just there for being light. Um, then on to the level sixes, we got Dark Blade the Dragon Knight. That's really good because it can banish cards from your opponent's graveyard that's good in the Chaos matchup. We got Ryu Senji, he's kind of hard to out. Um, so those are your best level sixes. I would at least play one copy of each if you're not playing a Chaos deck. Um, yeah, do as you please. I, I get, I have a lot of sixes because I play, you know, three Chaos Sorcerer because uh, I'm Magical Merchant, but and then we got these. Again, extra names. I don't know when I would ever go into Roaring Ocean Snake. You literally don't have to buy this card if you don't want to. There's better options. And then 3 Ojama King. At least have one, I would say, because it's also a light that could come up sometimes. Uh, but the effect is not horrible either. Plus, it's a 3,000 body. Blocking down three zones. If they have scapegoats too, it might be hard for them to out their stuff. It can come up if they're going to deck out. You never know. That's probably one of the more likely bad cards. <laughs> That may come up eventually. I've never summoned it, but you know it's there if we need it. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon and King Dragoon are, are level sevens. Uh, one's higher attack and it's a light, and one's got a decent effect and it's a dark. So that's really good to have both. Uh, again, I don't play any level sevens, but I do play Snatch Deal, so that, there's always that. Uh, for level eights, I only have Gatling Dragon. If you know of any more level eights, if you know any more of any of these here that I'm missing. I believe for level 7 I know I'm missing a Warrior from a Lost Planet, or whatever it's called. Um, but if you know if I'm missing any other ones, let me know, and we'll add those on, we'll do it for the next time. But Gatling Dragon, that's level 8, that's for uh, Blacklist Soldier Envoy of the um, Envoy of the Beginning. I don't know, I couldn't think of it. Um, and then, we got another one, you know, Snatch Deal, take your opponents. I didn't want to buy a third, because I don't think it'll come up more than once, if or twice, you know. It honestly rarely ever summoned. I summoned like once or twice before. Just because I wanted to use the BLS effect and I still had to attack. Uh, and then Cap Master of Oz. He's honestly just really cool. I really like him. But he's level 9. Probably won't ever come up. What what main deck level 9s are even in the uh, GOAT format? I mean, I guess if you're stealing somebody else's Master of Oz and you want to metamorphosis it away, there's that. But uh, other than that, I don't really know. That's it for the extra deck deck profile. Again, I'm going to say one last time, if you guys have anything you want to add to it, please let me know. I'm considering this more of a community video, just to add some value back, because there's not really much coverage just covering extra decks of GOAT format out there. So um, please let me know how we can make it better for the next time and continue adding value. Alright guys, have a nice day. Peace out.